Hi everyone, in this video we are looking at percentages, but we are looking at calculating the original amount. Alright, so it's percentages, we're calcula calculating the original amount. Sometimes uh, this topic is called reverse percentages, okay, but I'm calling it calculating the original amount. Now before you watch the rest of this video, it's very important that you refresh yourselves with the idea of percentages. Otherwise, this is not going to make sense to you. This, this topic is a very high-level GCSE Year 10, Year 11 topic, <clears throat> which can help you a lot in the 11-plus exams because questions like this do come up from time to time. Um, on my YouTube channel, there is a video called uh, Percentage Increase and Decrease. I think it's really important you watch that video first, remind yourselves, um, and then come back and watch this one. Okay, so you need to watch percentage increase and decrease before you come and watch this. Now, assuming you have, we're going to make a start on this topic. Okay, so let's uh, let's start off with an example. So let's say a jacket costs fifty pounds. What is the price in a sale after a twenty percent reduction? Now, if you've done a percentage profit and sorry percentage increase and decrease, uh, as I just told you, you will know that to calculate the percentage. Uh, the, the new price of this jacket you'd have to work out 20% of this jacket so 20% of 50 which is 20% remember uh, percent means 20 out of 100 20 out of 100 of 50 is it 2 times 5 is 10 We've got two zeros there 100 times 1 is 100 these zeros cancel each other out. So 20% of 50 is 10, but there's a 20% reduction. That means there was a 10 pound reduction of 50 pounds. So it's 50 minus 10, which is 40 pounds. So the price of the new jacket is 40 pounds. Okay, so that's just revision of percentage increase and decrease. And if I was increasing 50 pounds by 10%, uh, by 20%, I would work out 20% of 50, which is 10, and I would add that to 50 to make it 60. Okay, so the, the, the key word here is reduction. Sometimes it might be increase, sometimes it might be decrease, uh, but you've got to use your, your um, intelligence to find out what's happened to the price. So this is quite easy. This is not the actual topic. This is a revision of percentage increase and decrease. Okay, so, so now... Let's pretend we didn't know that the original price of the jacket was £50. Now here's another question uh, which is a little bit different. You see, in this question we were given the price of the jacket and then we were told that there was a 20% reduction. So we found out 20% of £50 and as you just saw, we worked out that it was £40. In this question we've been told that there's a jacket that costs £40. And it costs £40 after a 20% reduction. The question is asking us about the original price. We know it's £50 from this question. But let's pretend we weren't told this. Let's pretend we don't know this at all. Okay, so we're going to cross this out. So, forget about this now. Let's look at this. This is our brand new question. A jacket costs £40 in a sale after 20% off. What was the original price? Now, your instinct probably tells you to work out 20% of 40 and add it back on and you think that that's going to give you 50 pounds so let's see if that's what's going to happen so let's do 20% of 40 remember in maths times and of mean the same thing is equal to 2 times 4 is 8 two zeros divided by 100 knock these zeros off they cancel each other off 8 divided by 1 is 8 so, if I was to add 8 to 40, I'd get £48. But we know that the original price of the jacket was £50. So this is not the way to do it. The way to do it is actually to use a formula which I'm going to give you. And it is very important that you write this formula down. In fact, there are two formulas. This is quite a difficult topic. There are two formulas. I'm going to give you both of them. It's quite confusing, but it's simple if you just know which numbers to put where because you'll get your answer so let's let's take a look at these formulas this is one of the formulae so when price uh, this is price now 
So this is the price now. So it's basically price now divided by 100 minus the percentage times 100. I will explain what all of these mean, so don't panic, okay? So here's our question again. A jacket costs £40. That will be the price now. That's the cost of this item right now. So £40 divided by 100 minus the percentage, which is 20. And we're going to multiply that by 100 once we've sorted it. So 40 divided by 100 minus 20, which is 80. And you're going to multiply that by 100. Now you can simplify. This is a fraction. We're going to simplify this. If you were to divide top and bottom by 40, you'd get a half. So it'd be a half times 100, which is 50. And we know from the original question that the that the price uh, at the beginning was 50 pounds. Okay. As I said earlier, there are two formulae we're going we're gonna to use, and you've got to be very uh, vigilant. Uh, and ensure that you're using the right formula in the right place. I used this formula because in this question price came down. Okay, so you use this formula when the original price dropped and gave us this price here. And how do I know price came down? Because they used the word sale. Okay, so when price comes down, you can put an arrow next to this. When price comes down, you use this formula. Sometimes price goes up, and we're going to look at an example in a second. Sometimes price goes up, and when price goes up from the original, you use an, the same formula, but instead of minusing it, you just add it. Okay, let's take a look at an example where price went up. Okay, so here's an example. The price of a computer in PC world is £120. It's quite cheap, actually. It has increased 20% over the past month. How much was it before? So, you go into PC World, there's a computer. Right now, it costs £120. That's going to be my price now. £120 divided by... It has increased 20% over the past month. 100 That stays the same. Now, because, we're, because it's increased, we're, we're going to add the percentage. This is the percentage, plus 20, times 100. Okay, so never forget to multiply it by 100. So, let's solve this. It's 120 divided by 100 plus 20 is 120, times 100. 120 divided by 120 is 1. 1 times 100 is 100. That means the price before the increase of 20% is 100 pounds. Okay? So if, you are, if you're a little bit rusty, if you're still not sure about this, just go back and uh, rewind um, a minute or maybe two or three minutes and just recap what we've done because in a second I'm going to show you some questions and I'm going to get you to answer them and then I'm going to answer them with you. Okay? But uh, the very important thing is to write these formulae down. There are two of them. One for when price has gone up from the original and one from when prices have gone down from the original. And when price has gone up, the only difference is the plus and the minus sign. When price goes up, we add the percentage to 100. When price has come down from the original, we minus the percentage. Okay, I'm going to show you um, two formulae side by side. Make a note of them and then answer some questions. Here they are. So in this example, price has gone down from the original amount okay you have to look for a clue in the question sometimes they may say it drops in value or you buy some shoes and in a sale when you hear words like that you know prices come down okay if you see the word increased or you see the words um, have gone up or something like that you've got to use your intelligence and decide what's happened to price so when you see increased or price has gone up you know that it's this one so this is the only difference between these two formulae, between these two methods. Okay? When price comes down, we subtract. When price has gone up from the original amount, we use we add it. Let's take a look at some examples. Um, <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a question. Uh, let's take a look at this one. Uh, Katie gets a 25% 25, 25 pay rise. So straight away I know that price has gone up. 
So she's earning more now than she did when she first started before before her before the increase. Her new wage is two hundred and fifty pounds per week. So that's gonna be her wage now, her price now. Okay? Remember sometimes it's not always about price. It could be uh it could be size, it could be length, it could be height, it could be um an amount like number of suites it doesn't always have to be price but whatever it is it goes at the top here so this goes at the top of our formula so 250 divided by 100 plus 1 because we're using this one price has gone up from the original amount we're using this one uh, rather than this one so 250 divided by 100 plus the percentage 25 okay don't forget to multiply by 100 that's going to be the last thing we do so let's work out this first 250 divided by divided by 100 plus 20 uh, 25 is 125 so I've got this fraction I can I can divide 125 sorry I can divide 250 by 125 and the answer is 2 and then don't forget to multiply it by 100 so this is 200 pounds. That means that she originally earned 200 pounds and now she is earning 250 pounds. Okay, so now we've calculated the original amount, which is this one, uh, from this question. Okay, take a look at this one. Mike buys some furniture for 60 pounds after a 25% discount. <clears throat> How much did the furniture cost before? What I'd like you to do, if you're, if you're feeling quite confident and you're, you think you're getting the hang of this, I'd like you to pause the video in a moment when I say so and then work it out. If you make a mistake, it's not a big deal, so don't worry about it because I'm going to show you what to do. But before you do this, I'm going to ask you to just remember one thing. First decide, has price gone up or down since the percentage change? And then all you've got to do is put the numbers in the right place and you'll get your answer. That's how easy using these formulae is. Okay, so pause the video now, have a go, and then come back to me when you're done. Okay, so hopefully you're done now. Mike buys some furniture for 60 pounds in a 25% discount. This is the key word here, discount. Like I said earlier, sometimes they might use the word reduction. Sometimes they might say the, uh, use the word sale sometimes discount okay so you've got to decide there's a number of different words they use discount means that price has come down so we're going to use this formula here because price has gone down from the original amount we're trying to work out we know what this is we're trying to work out what this is okay so Mike buy some furniture for 60 pounds that's going to be my price now because that's how much the cost of the furniture is right now so 60 pounds divided by 100 minus Oops, this should be a times 100, I just remembered. Minus the percentage, which is 25. So that's going to be equal to... Now, I'm not going to write times 100 here just yet. But I've got to remember that this is very, very important. Otherwise, you end up with decimals. So 60 divided by 100 minus 25, which is the same as 60 divided by 75. So this is a fraction. I'm going to simplify this. Only multiply it by 100 once you've simplified it. Now, in order to simplify this, you can divide by 5, uh, which will give you 12 over 15. And then you can simplify this further by 3, which will give you 4 over 5. Now I've got this fraction. The last step is to multiply this by 100. So it's going to be, I'm going to do this at the bottom over here. So 4 fifths times 100, which is 4 times 100, which is 400, divided by 5, which is 80. Okay, that means Mike's furniture cost £80 before the 25% discount. And you can double check too, because if you do 25% of 80, you'll get 20. All right, I've just done that very quickly. And if you, if you do 20, 80 minus 20, you'll get 60, which is this here. So you can always double check to see if your answer is correct. So hopefully this lesson was useful. Um, it is worth, like I said, it is worth going back and listening to it again and remembering these these two key things here. When the original price goes down, we use minus 
100 minus the percentage and when the original price goes up we use add the percentage these are the key things here um, so like I said go back watch this video again and hopefully um, you'll, you'll understand this this uh, topic quite simply